Hi all, today we are going to see some numericals on controlling torque that is spring control and gravity control so that concept will be clear to you. So first example I am starting with the deflecting torque of an ammeter is directly proportional to the current passing through it. So let us note down the given data so it is mentioned that the deflecting torque is proportional to the current passing through it. That is what is mentioned. The instrument has a full scale deflection of 80 degrees for a current of 10 amperes. That means it is also mentioned there when 10 amperes is passing the value of theta is equal to 80 degrees that is under full scale for both the gravity and the spring control. It is asked what deflection will occur for a current of 3 ampere, 5 ampere and 8 ampere when the instrument is spring controlled and gravity control. It is mentioned that both type of instrument when 10 ampere is given the angle shown is 80 degrees only and the deflection torque is proportional to current when we are varying from 0 to this 10 amperes in between we are it is at position of 3 ampere, 5 ampere and 8 ampere it is asked to calculate what is the reading. So before going let us see the controlling torque because the controlling torque in the case of spring control will be EBT cube divided by 12 L into theta. This is what we have seen in the last class and the controlling gravity control. So this will be W into L into sin theta or otherwise we can tell that TC is proportional to sin theta and here the value of a T controlling torque here it is proportional to theta. So this is for the case of spring control. This is for the case of gravity control. So let us try to solve one by one. So first I am starting with the spring control. So for the case of spring control, we know that TC is proportional to theta. So therefore, we can tell that the theta is proportional to current. So whatever the value of theta, it depends on the current. So it is already mentioned there for the case of 10 amperes, 80 degrees is produced and it will have the uniform scale agree with me. So it is asked to calculate what will be the value for 3 amperes. So for 10 amperes, if it is 80 degrees, it is having a uniform scale for 1 ampere, how much will be there? 80 degrees divided by 10, you agree with me? This will be 80 degrees divided by 10. So this is the constant. So that you have to multiply with the value of this current. That means you have to multiply with 3. So this gives your value. So this will be equal to 3 into 8 is 24 because a 10 and 0 this will cancel. This will become 24 degrees. So similarly, if you want to calculate for the case of 5 ampere, this will be 5 into what will be the deflection per unit current. This will be 80 divided by 10. So this will be equal to 40 degrees. And similarly, for the case of 8 amperes, this will be equal to 8 multiplied by 80 by 10. So this will be equal to 64 degrees. So we got the three answers. So this is done. So now going for the second type of control that is gravity control. So for the case of gravity control, we know that theta is Tc is proportional to sin theta and Td is proportional to the current or otherwise we can tell that when you are giving the 10 amperes, it is proportional to the sine of the angle. Agree with me? Sine of the angle means sine of because under full scale it is mentioned it is 80 degrees. So 10 amperes is proportional to sine 80 degrees. So it is asked to find for the case of other cases. So let us take for example for some other current I am representing by sine theta. I am representing by sine theta for some other value. Let us take for example if you are taking 3 ampere. So 3 ampere will be proportional to from sine theta or we can tell that. So let us write it here only. So let us take for example 3 amperes let us assume is proportional to sin theta let us take it as 1 getting it. So comparing these two I can mention that this value of this sin theta 1 so this sin theta 1 will be equal to 3 by 10 you can take the ratio of these two equations 3 by 10 into sin 80 because other constants are same you agree with me. So 3 by 10 into sin 80 if you are substituting you will get it as a 0.2954 or from this I can calculate my value of theta 1 will be equal to sin inverse of 0.2954. So what will be the value this will be 17.18 degrees. So first one is obtained. So let us try to calculate for other angles. So for the case of 5 amperes so for the case of 5 amperes theta will be equal to sin inverse of 5 by 10 times of sin 80. 
So how much will come? This will be 29.5 degrees if you calculate. And similarly, if you are calculating for 8 amperes, theta will be equal to sin inverse of 8 divided by 10 into sin 80. So this if you calculate, you will get it as 51.985 degrees. So these are the angles that are obtained. So you can see here when you are comparing with the spring control, for the case of spring control, we got for 3 amperes 24 degrees. For the case of 3 ampere here we are getting only 17.18 degrees. Similarly for 5 ampere we are getting 64 degrees, sorry, we are getting 40 degrees there. Here we are getting 29.5 degrees. Similarly for 8 amperes we are getting 64 degrees there. Here we are getting only 51.985 degree. So let us try to represent in the form of a table. If you are going for the case of spring control and second one we are taking for the case of gravity control and let us take different values of currents. How these are coming so that this concept will be clear to you. So when the current is equal to zero your angle will be zero in both spring and gravity control. So when the current is equal to 3 amperes so in the first case we got 24 degrees and here we got 17.18 degrees. So similarly when the current is equal to 5 amperes, this current is in amperes. So 5 amperes we are getting 40 degrees here and here we got 29.5 degrees. Getting it and similarly for 8 amperes we are getting 64 degrees in this case and here we are getting 51.985 degrees. Similarly, when the current is equal to 10 amperes, it is 80 degrees in both the cases. 80 degrees in both the cases. So you can see here, in the initial stages, in the case of gravity control, the scale is cramped because it is showing the lesser value when compared to the spring control. That's why we can prove that when compared to the gravity control, spring control is having a uniform scale, whereas in gravity control, the scale is so much cramped. So let us take another example. The control spring of an instrument has the following dimensions. The length is equal to 400 mm. Thickness is 0.08 mm. Width is equal to 0.5 mm. And E is 112.8 giga newtons per meter square. Estimate the torque exerted by the spring when it is turned through 90 degrees. When it is turned through 90 degrees. So let us try to solve this one. So this one we know the control torque is equal to EBTQ by 12 L into theta. Agree with me? So I am substituting this. This will be 112.8 into 10 to the power of 9. This will be multiplied by breadth is 0.5 in mm. We have to convert this to meter. So 10 to the power of minus 3. So this will be multiplied by T. T is 0 0.08 mm means 10 to the power of minus 3. We have to take U divided by 12 times of length that length is mentioned anywhere length is mentioned as 400 mm 400 mm means it is nothing but 400 we have to multiply with 10 to the power of minus 3 multiplied by theta theta should be mentioned in radian so this will be pi by 2 you will get the doubt previous numerical i have taken in degrees because radians you convert to the degrees and take the ratio so the answer will come in degrees. If one value in degree, another one can be taken as degree because we are taking the ratio of two quantities. Getting it, you can take any one there. So here, this if you calculate this, you will get as 9.45 into 10 to the power of minus 6 Newton meter. So this way you have to calculate. So let us take one more numeric so that this concept will be clear. The deflecting torque corresponding to a deflection of 90 degrees is 1000 into 10 to the power of minus 6 Newton meter in an instrument with two control springs. Calculate the suitable dimension of the control spring if the width of the spring is 1 mm. Young's modulus is mentioned 112.8 giga newtons per meter square. Maximum allowable stress is 60 mega newtons per meter square. So before proceeding, you can see here this numerical it is mentioned. There are two control springs. That means to provide the control torque is done by two springs. So automatically to counterbalance the deflection torque, half torque, half of torque will be 
shared by each of these springs. So the same thing I have mentioned here. As the two control springs are used, each springs will exert half of the deflecting torque. Or we can tell that the controlling torque exerted by each one will be half times of the deflecting torque, half times of 1000. That is 5 into 10 to the power of minus 6 Newton meters. So we have seen in the last class that the maximum value of the stress is given by F maximum is equal to 6 into Tc by Bt square. Or from this we can calculate Bt square. Because the breadth into thickness square is equal to 6 dc by f maximum. Because we know all the remaining values. So 6 into controlling torque is 500 into 10 to the power of minus 6. And maximum stress is given as 60 mega newton. So 60 into 10 to the power of 6. So you will get as 50 into 10 to the power of minus 12 meter square. So this is nothing but bt square. So from this we know the value of the breadth is given as 1 mm. We don't know the thickness. So thickness will be equal to square root of. 50 into 10 to the power of minus 12 divided by b. Breadth is equal to 1 mm. So 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3. This will be 2.236 into 10 to the power of minus 4 meters. Or this is 0 0.2236 mm if you are converting in mm. So now substituting in Tc is equal to Eb2 cube by 12L into theta. Because we already got the value of T. B is already mentioned. E is already mentioned. We don't know the value of length. So for calculating the length, I am using TC formula. So TC is equal to EBQ cube by 12 value into theta or from this I can calculate length is equal to EBT cube by 12 times of TC multiplied by theta. I have substituted E is 112.8 into 10 to the power of 9. Breadth is 1 mm, so 10 to the power of minus 3. And thickness is 0 0.2236 mm, so 10 to the power of minus 3 whole cube divided by 12 times of TC is 500 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and theta is pi by 2. So this will become 0 0.33 meters or we can write it as a 330 mm. So the spring, we can conclude that the spring should have a thickness of 0 0.2236 mm and length is equal to 330 mm for this particular design. So I hope how to solve the numericals for the spring and the gravity control are completely clear to you. If you still have any queries, you can leave your comments in the comment section below. I will answer to your queries from there. Thank you. Thank you very much.